Hello everyone and welcome to this StreamYard tutorial. StreamYard is a solution that uh, is available online at StreamYard.com. I don't think I can access it because I'm already logged in, but you can check it out. There is a free plan that you can test out and there's a few uh, paid options that will provide you more features. Uh, in very short, with StreamYard you can welcome your speakers, invite your speakers to uh, to uh, conference Zoom type of environment on their browser directly. Here I'm using Chrome, for example, and have them uh, present from there. And from there, you can directly upstream to whatever destination you have. So it's a bit of a combination of Zoom and OBS together because it gives you nice layout branding options. Let's dig right into it. This is a very short introduction on how to use StreamYard. We won't go into depth, but that's just to give you a, good, a bit of an idea of what it does. Let's create a new broadcast here. I'm not going to define target now. This is something we will do in a separate tutorial. Let's just focus on the broadcast branding here. So this is my new StreamYard, StreamYard broadcast. There we go creating it it takes just a couple of seconds to create it um, then i can enter it this is my name my camera my microphone there we are and you directly start with a very rough stage if i can say so there's a background by default here let's maybe switch to my broadcast brand so you can have multiple set of assets that you use on Streamyard. Here I'm going to use something that is, well, let's actually start with something that is completely new. Uh, new brand here. There we go. All right. This is my new brand. It has a few default assets. I can decide that I want this background, for example, uh, that I want this logo to be over there. Obviously a bit of advertising. And then I can just, for example, here, this is the list of your speakers. I'm the only one right now, but I can add myself to the stream. And there we go. This is the exact output of what people are going to see if you would be live streaming this. So you could uh, live stream this by just broadcasting to a certain place, the most common ones here. But again, we don't talk about that in this tutorial. This is a sep this is going to be presented in a separated video here. We focus really on the branding, on the brand aspect. All right, so let me maybe uh, close this again. This is me, for example, speaking live in a broadcast. If I was alone, I have a bunch of different settings. I can have multiple people and everything, but because I'm the only one speaking and there is no slide being shared, obviously the options are pretty limited. So it keeps me full screen in here. So let's maybe let's maybe focus on the brand for a couple of seconds. So. Sitting back on that, I'm going to remove myself from the live stream so we see the background again, and I'm going, to, I'm going to remove that logo. All right, let's add a new background. So I have one background on my desktop here. Let's use that one. Uh, something that looks a little bit more on brand with Spot Me. This is a beautiful thing that you can have. So this is the new background. Obviously, when I keep adding myself, I keep being on top. You will see the background if you have multiple speakers because you have multiple videos or if you have slide being shared with it. Otherwise, it does keep the speaker as a full screen, which is a bit of a limitation, but that, that does the job still. Another thing we could do, for example, is add a video clip here. I have a short introduction video that I could play. So, for example, here I am. Um, it takes a bit of time to upload it. Um, in the meantime, let me maybe try something. I'm going to connect as a guest speaker from another laptop. So I am going to click on invite. Here I can copy paste that link and send it to someone. You can directly automatically send it through Messenger, email and, and Gmail. But here I am just going to take my second laptop here. I am going to I am going to just copy the short code so that's it's not probably not the most practical way to do that, but for the purpose of this tutorial, it will do the job. I'm going to KQ, there we go. So I am joining with my uh, computer just next to me, writing myself and entering the broadcast studio. So here now I have uh, me using this computer from which I'm recording, and then I have my MacBook on my 
right sides uh, that is acting as a, as a second speaker that would be a, another speaker you can have up to i think 10 speakers in the paid version and something like five in the free version and very quickly here i can add two speakers i can make that this way so see this is very you can still have a single speaker it just keeps the first one in the list i think or the main one i guess uh exit solo layout yeah um i can have both of us on the screen and i can have a reduced version of the two of us and then you start to see the background so makes it very easy to have different kind of layout let's maybe try to share some slides from my other computer as well uh sharing some powerpoint file that i have so it appears here as soon as i've been sharing with my other laptop i have it appearing here in the list so now i can click to add to stream as well and magically speaking it switches directly to the view with the slides being shared um what can i do then i can switch back here i can still go on speaker view only even if it is added to the stream but then i can have one speaker with a small slide big screen uh, i guess i could select this one if i wanted to no it's only applying that to the first one uh, and then i can have it this way so all the speakers with the slides so for example if you have a panel discussion you will obviously want to remove the slides and have the list of all your speakers here uh, this is pretty this would be pretty nice and if you have one speaker or multiple speakers talking through some slides you will want to have this layout and the speaker would just lined up in there uh, this is the slide full screen as well if you want you have a bunch of settings if you um, if you click here you have a bunch of settings this one I can force mute uh, my colleague can probably unmute this one I won't do it otherwise the sound would go crazy uh, but there we go makes it very easy to do uh, to do it and here it just switches directly okay nothing to uh, nothing too crazy here so it is a bit limited in what you can do but it makes it so easy that it's a really nice tool for anyone who wants to produce a live stream very, very easily without a production team of 10 uh, 5 to 10 people right again i can do everything myself i can even talk and everything so this is this is really a tool that is allowing you to do something that is that looks good uh, both in terms of transitions background and everything um, without having the hassle of having a lot of people managing it let's maybe try something let's imagine that i'm starting a show right now so what i could launch i have my intro video here i could for example and maybe that's going to be a bit loud i'm sorry in advance for that there's no sound control i believe i could launch okay there is no sound going out nice um you could launch this video it would play right what i can do is that i can already add myself in the background Right, so this is the background is really an image at the background. The video clip is playing up as an overlay, so it goes on top of whatever is displayed in terms of slides and uh, speakers. And now the video ended and it directly disappears as an overlay, and I'm seeing whatever I've decided to add to the stream. I could have done the same with the two speakers right away and things like that. And then there is an overlay function here if you want to display fancier, like, oh, now this session is about. Uh, this is the introduction session you can add very easily title slide title overlays and stuff like that um, there's a theme so there's not too many options here uh, and you can obviously select the brand if i want something that is a bit more spot me with a bit of orange i could do it very easily this way right and logos if you want to have logo placement if you want to have some sponsors for example would be a great idea to use this one they have some dimensions recommended and everything oh Right, I think that's it. This is a very short introduction, obviously. Um, again, the tool is not crazy complicated, so there's not necessarily a need to do more than that. But uh, the way we usually use it is at least a background that looks nice, nice introduction videos, closing videos, and maybe some transitions if you want to play something in between sessions uh, is a very nice to have. Otherwise, we don't go more complicated than that. Again, the only missing part at that stage is how do we move that to spot me platform for example right because right now i'm just streaming it here uh, it's not streaming to an actual third party destination so this is the part we are going to look in our, our in our other tutorial videos how we use rtmp to stream to the spot me platform 
But until then, thank you very much for watching and enjoy your next stream. Bye bye.